Hey people, this is Stuart Smith from Stuart Designs. I'm at the Crazy Clown Maze in Grand Rapids, Michigan, getting things done. We're working on a cave area. Just for all you newbies that are coming on board, I paint monsters for a living, and we do foam work for the laser tag and haunted house industry. So we are here throwing down on a lobby attraction for when you buy your tickets. You come in, you're going to have a whole show before you get into the real show. So we're throwing down on that for the next couple weeks while I'm also working on the panels in studio at home. So hey, come on board. Please like and subscribe and uh, hang in there. This is going to be a quite the complicated process. There will be no finished product on this video today. Just some of the technique and I'll stop and show you how to do things and um, you might learn something. I have uh, some uh, videos in the playlist below as well. And uh, hey, appreciate your time. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Good morning, my people. It's about 9.30. Um, I am at the Crazy Clown Maze, and this is the first attraction that people will go through. When they come buy a ticket, they're going to have a whole haunted attraction to go through before they even get to the regular haunt. So they have five haunts here, but just waiting in line to get into the show is going to be an experience all to itself. So... Uh, they set up all these rock walls from here from previous haunts that uh, the gentleman has purchased. And it's my job to come in and make her pretty. So we're utilizing Portland cement, paint, and play sand to both uh, do some stuff with uh, R35 insulation and uh, some hopper gun action. After that is done, we're going to come in and uh, we are going to put skulls in and nasties and cobwebs and all sorts of things. So we got a good, a good palette to work with right now. And uh, Saturday I came in and just started throwing up stuff for getting things on there. So when I do my cementing, there's something sturdy behind it. And they also because they had a lot of this stuff sitting outside. I had to come in and store it, so I'm going to have to move all of this stuff anyway as it's sitting on the ground. Get it done. But while I'm working on the 3D maze at home in the studio, 45 minutes to Grand Rapids, I'm working on this. So busy, busy, busy. We're going to keep this going for the next three weeks until I leave for New York. So, hey, come along with me. Let's get this bad boy done. So here is my pile of wonderfulness. Gentlemen went out and purchased this. We got Durabond 90 Minute. Awesome stuff, guys, to use that. You gotta use it fast and make sure you're wearing gloves because you'll eat up on you. But once that stuff is down, it's not going anywhere. Portland cement, play sand, some buckets, some chip brushes. And he has enough oops paint to choke a horse here, so we'll move that, we'll mix that in. And that creates just an awesome nastiness to uh, really make things hard and uh, creative. Uh, we're we're going to go for some honeycombing. We're going to go for some, like bugs nests and all sorts of things. And one of the things we utilize is my favorite R35 insulation. Now this here is the um, plastic. It's not the glass. You don't have to worry about cutting up your fingers. But soaking this in water and then soaking this with the concoction, you can place it on the wall and sculpt it with tools like paint brushes or your hands or anything like that to make all sorts of patterns. And uh, once she dries, she'll be rock hard and it's not going anywhere. And it'll be awesome when you paint it up. And um, it just We've been using this stuff for years. Uh, we work at... Sloss Wright Furnace in Birmingham, Alabama, and we utilized this on panels 15 years ago, and they are still there, even though it's a put-up, tear-down haunt. So uh, we used a bunch of this insulation, caught it up a little bit, screwed it on, but in a perfect world, when we're all done, this is all going to be gone, and we're utilizing it in the old walls, and it's going to be cool. We're going to bring it down on the floor so it doesn't look like panels. Oh, yeah, good times. Let's get her done.
just want to show you guys what this place looked like before uh, <laughs> before we started so uh, you get an idea of what we had to deal with and uh, what she looks like at the end of the video. So uh, check it out. Stay around. Enjoy. A lot of work, people. A lot of work. Okay, people, it's been a good day. Got a lot of work done. Still gonna continue for it. Here is the cement, paint, and sand mixture with insulation. Got a nice texturing going on. And uh, tomorrow, we'll be coming in with the hopper gun to go over all this stuff. In the meantime, we are getting things done. Here is the Durabond. Hard as a rock. You can tell from the cement that was placed on this. Here it is mixed with paint. Just to give a different texture. We even brought it down on the floor. Now I know this looks funky, people, because it's all different colors and stuff. And everything. But when we hopper gun it and paint it, it's gonna look awesome, especially with the skulls. And here's those green rocks. And evolved in Durabond and put it in there and bring it right down to the bottom. And then we have this area right here. Still have some of the polystyrene showing. But this is gonna be a great place to put skulls or like that. And I know funky colors, but all in all, when she gets hopper gun and painted up, and then all the bells and whistles get placed on it, she's gonna look fantastic. We have all these wonderful in and outs. They'll look great when they do the lighting. And uh, this right here is just basic cement that's already hardened up. That's the Durabond. This is almost fully dry. And we were able to pocket. Do things like this. We can put spiders in there and all sorts of things. So she's coming along. Okay? Coming along. We've got a long ways to go though. Ooh, wow. All right. Taking a little break. Getting ready to do some hot hopper gun action. So I'm going to give it three coats. And the mixture is paint sand and portland cement and uh sometimes it varies and stuff like that but if i have a half gallon bucket of paint i'll add in you know 20 scoops of of uh, portland cement and then five or six scoops of sand play sand or sometimes you can use the glass beads they use for sand blasting that works too and uh, blend it up real good and then hot hopper gun action at about 100 psi and then it, what it does, it stipples on there nice, gives it a hard coating, sticks to it well, and then you're able to paint on top of it after, after the fact without having to put any cement stain stuff in it. So let's get that done. Boo! Ah. <laughs>
All right, people, stage one is done for this particular area. Um, we're gonna be adding skulls and skeletons and all sorts of things, but I wanted to get the, the rocks put up and, and uh, do the stuff uh, using Durabon 90. Uh, that worked out really nice. And then, um, hot hopper gun action, and then skeletons and paint job. So we're getting her done. So I appreciate you coming on board. Hey, there's some playlists in the description below. Uh, you can check some of those out. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description below as well. Um, and uh, to inform people, I do carry Dayglow paints and Pasture airbrushes. If you need anything, get a hold of me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.